Acts chapter 4, verse 36, through to chapter 5, verse 6. And so, sorry, I'm reading, let me read from the New King James. And Joseph, or Joseph, who was also named Barnabas by the apostles, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Chapter 5, from verse 1. But a certain man named Ananias, with Sapphira his wife, sold a possession, and he kept back part of the proceeds, his wife also being aware of it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? While it remained, was it not in your own? Was it not your own? And after it was sold, was it not in your own control? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. Then Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last. So great fear came upon all those who heard these things. And the young men, ar ar and the young men arose and wrapped him up, carried him out, and buried him. The Lord bless the of his word in Jesus' name. So, basically, uh, we see that despite the good things that were taking place in the early church, the, the, the way people gave things, you know, and um, sold their properties, brought the proceeds to the feet of the apostles, and they were a blessing generally to everybody. That in, in all of that, we see in this in this in this in this passage of, uh, verse of scripture a deviation from the norm, as it were. It is indeed a fallacy to think that everyone who says that they are Christians are truly Christians. In Matthew chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, Matthew 7, 21 to 23, the Bible, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ made mention of the fact that it is not all who say, Lord, Lord, who will get into heaven. He says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. So it is a fallacy to think, that everybody in, who, who comes to a church meeting, everybody who says he's a Christian, even those who are preaching the gospel because the people is referring to here are people who spoke of the things they had done. It, it said, they said, we, we prophesied in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We did wonders in your name. That is the way they, 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 they claimed that they were ministering. They had ministered in the name of the Lord. But they said, I will declare. To them that I never knew you. Depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. So be, be, we have to be careful. It's not everybody who say that they are Christians. Who are truly Christians. So today we want to discuss. A tale of two Christians. A tale of two Christians. Or the story of two Christians. We have heard the saying. That out of every twelve. There is a Judas. The truth is that there are always two kinds of Christians. Two kinds of people who say they are Christians. You have the genuine ones and you have the hypocrites or the pretenders. Remember we've said it over and over again. That the hypocrite is a pretender. He's somebody who pretends to be who he is not and who he does not intend to be. So he's basically a pretender. So we have this kind of people in the body of Christ. We have the genuine ones and we have the pretenders. 